This is Sean from AZ Education. Today we're going to do our 15 words on vocab again. Very common, very useful words. You can use them in a wide range of aspects in daily life. So let's get started with word number one, lucid. Lucid means clear or understandable. So if we're talking about lucid dreaming, that term is very common. It simply means dreams that are very, uh, like you wake up and you remember them. Or while you're dreaming, you can feel everything, like it's very clear what's happening, you're not confused. That's lucid. Okay, word number two is karma. Very common word. Karma means it's, it's, it's something where the nature or the universe or God responds to the action that you did. For example, I went on the road and I had some road rage and I said some bad words to someone and two minutes later I get into a car accident. So that is called karma. It's bad karma. It's like almost a revenge for some wrongdoing that I committed. Word number three is irony. Irony is some strange thing that happens which is completely opposite to what uh, what is supposed to happen. Uh, let me give you an example. So I was watching UFC 264. I'm a huge UFC fan. And Conor McGregor was fighting. Before the fight, he said, my opponent is going to go out on a stretcher. But after the fight, Conor McGregor went out on a stretcher. So we'll say this is ironic. Or the irony of the situation was Connor said the other person would go on a stretcher, but he went on a stretcher. So that is the irony of the situation. Something very strange. Word number four is fortitude. Fortitude means the strength of mind. Okay, so if you have fortitude, if you're a man of fortitude, it means you have a brave mind. You're not as scared to think of possibilities. Also, you're very focused like your mind is very sharp and you aim at anything by your mind and mentally you're able to achieve it. The next word is bypass, common word, not used very often. It could be very useful in situations where you simply bypass something. So you skip over something to get to some uh, something or some place else, that is called a bypass. So for example, uh, I wanna bypass my vocabulary lesson today because I'm too busy, but I won't do that. So that means to avoid something and just skip it for a bit. Word number six is jurisdiction. Jurisdictions are places, basically. So this is the jurisdiction of uh, this minister, for example. That means a place where some law can be enforced. You might think, what is the difference between a jurisdiction and an area? So area is general, right? But a jurisdiction is where in an area you can practice some political power. So if you have power in that area, that ministers, a minister has that power, it is his or her jurisdiction. The next word is narrative. So narrative is, it's a story told by someone who views something in their mind as the perfect description. For example, let's say I am trying to help out a student and I was lazy in class, I was yawning, I was very sleepy and the student tells my boss about that. But I went to the boss and I said, you know what, I was trying my best, but maybe the student only saw me whenever I was yawning. Okay, so that is my narrative. It's my story, my alibi, my own version. This is how I'm painting the picture. So narrative is a way a story is told. And the next word is quell. Quell means to suppress or to restrict information or something. For example, if I want to quell the anger of my employees, I can give them bonuses. It means if I want to restrict their or suppress their anger, I can give them bonuses. So that's a good word to use, quell. Next word is serene. Serene means relaxed. So the, um, the scenery was serene or his mental attitude was serene even after the war. Okay, number 10 is uncanny. So uncanny is something that is beyond the normal. Uncanny and abnormal are different things. Abnormal simply means something that is not normal. Uncanny means something beyond normal. So the supernatural, ghosts and stuff, they are uncanny because they're beyond normal. It's like something very extreme. Or let's say there's a person who cannot walk. They're always on the wheelchair and all of a sudden they start running. So that is an uncanny occurrence. So uncanny is something that is very beyond the normal, something like super extreme and not normal. Number 11 is wonky. Wonky is, it's really, it relates to shapes and it's kind of informal. Uh, but if something is wonky, it means it's just distorted. It's turned or twisted in a way that it's out of shape. So we can say that um, this 
ball or this piece of clay is wonky if they are out of shape. Number 12 is yawner, very common. Uh, but I mean, it's very simple to understand, but a lot of people don't know it. So it's, it's useful to say yawner is a person who yawns. Simply, if I yawn, I'm a yawner. It's a good word to know. Uh, people don't know that you can call people yawning yawners. So that's a good word. 13 is yearn, Y-E-A-R-N. Yearn is to desire strongly. So I yearn for success. I yearn for something challenging. It means I go after those things. I strongly desire those things. The second last word is zenith. Zenith is the highest point of something. So if I reach the zenith of my career, I will be very happy. It means the top point of your career or the highest or the peak of something. The last word is xenophobia. Xenophobia is the fear of immigrants. So it's very close to racism, something that really shouldn't happen. But xenophobia, if you are xenophobic, you fear immigrants, you fear foreigners, you don't want them coming in your country because you don't like them. So that is xenophobia, not a very good thing to have, but a good term to know because you will hear it a lot in news and in politics. And that's it. Those are our 15 words. I hope this helps and I hope this enriches your vocabulary, giving you more things, more words to use in daily life with people and showing them what you got. Okay, if you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel, like and share it with your friends. Tell them what we're doing here so we can add more value into the lives of other people just like yourself. Thank you guys and take care.